you think we're testing that you think we're going back to de yeah, the December lows. You're bearish as, as hell. I yeah. Think. Uh, well, let me let me. OK, so yeah. off the December lows, it's been a, a tradable rally. This has been pretty good. Did you Absolutely. miss it completely? Not completely. We actually did. Uh, and Jim, Jim Not played completely. a role in the decision. No, yeah. Well, we did cover some lows, right? We covered some yeah. shorts right at the lows on Christmas Eve. We had okay. our traders in. I mean, obviously, with the benefit of hindsight, we could have covered them all and looked a lot better. But uh, I, I think. What's going to go on here, Joe, is that fourth quarter stock market weakness was anticipating weakness in earnings and economic reports that is still to come. And I think, you know, the more you think about this, I think that's why you tend to have these W bottoms in the market. The first leg down is sort of out of the blue when the news is still good. And then there's a relief rally for whatever reason, get oversold, Fed chairman blinks. Right. <laughs> but on the second leg down, that's when you finally see the, the weakness in the economics and earnings reports, you're, and that's coming. I think it's going to be scary in the yeah, next you're, couple you're, months. You're, one of your points is that maybe the, we've seen the best in, in terms of earnings. Now, are you saying that growth is decelerating or we're going to have declining earnings? Which? It, it's interesting. You mentioned uh, Jim Paulson's bullish viewpoint. He actually thinks S&P earnings are going to be down 5% this year, and I would not disagree with that assessment. Declining I mean, earnings. Yes. So then down, down 5 10% this year on the S&P. You, uh, you wouldn't be surprised if the S&P hit what level? Uh, not even just this year, but what, I see there are some people that think we don't go back below 2,300 ever. Where, where could we go? Boy, uh, I tell you what, if, uh, if, if you went down to the trailing PE that existed at an historic market top in October of 07, you go back to about 2200. If you went back to the price to sales ratio, and I know sort of an antiquated valuation measure, but you go down to about 2000, to an old market peak yeah. in valuation. So I mean, we have this est uh, estimating the downside exercise we run in our research book each month. Yeah. But to get scary downside estimates, we don't even have to assume a reversion to the mean or yeah. a reversion to old bear market lows, but even to get back to an old bull market top on some measures would entail 25, 30% down from here. Uh, okay. And I think- I'll get back to you in a second. Cause, okay. Because uh, Stephen has a beard too, and Paulson has a beard. Is it a Minnesota? That's yeah, cold up there. Is that it's, it? It's, it's a seasonal that, it's not thing. A fashion, yeah. you're not a sta it's not a statement, it's no. staying warm. Okay, <laughs> that makes sense. <laughs> Clean-shaven uh, Surratt, you, uh, th th I, this I'm guy's bearish. I mean, you could be bearish. You're less well, bullish, though, than I, you were. Well, in December, December, I was pretty bullish when I thought really? things were just sold off completely. Okay. But when you look at where the markets are, and I, I don't disagree, you're gonna, you, you might test or might not. We don't know about that. But if you look at valuations, kind of where they are from last year, the beginning of last year, there were 18 times earnings. The S&P's at 15 times. And within that, sectors like industrials and financials are trading at you know, probably 9 to 11 times earnings with really markets telling you that they're not going to grow at all, solid balance sheets, and I think you get any positive news out of China, that's where really the hurt came because a lot of them talked down their earnings for this year. Yeah. That will happen, and you can get a positive surprise looking forward 12 months to 18 months. Interest rates have come down. They really, the 10 years back to 27. So a lot of the discounting mechanism that stocks are using and even companies are using, the bond market, the credit market's tightened too. I mean, that's been a positive if you look at this in the last three weeks. Surat, we had somebody tell us in the last hour that we've come back and bounced back and now we're looking a little expensive again that he would be buying if you saw dips from here but not going on. But you're making it sound like you may not see an opportunity to buy again. Like this, the, the, you may be in a position where you need to buy now before the train's those. leaving the station. Well, I don't know if the train's leaving the station, but I think there are going to be select areas where you can still buy now, which mm -hmm. there might be up 10 percent or 15 from the December lows. But compared to where they were a year ago, take building products multiples have gone from 20 to 11. You know, we're not I mean, that's saying, at 10 percent gains for the year. You don't think that's necessarily the end, though? No, I don't. I don't think it is. And I think it'll be choppy along the way. But valuation still tells me along specific sectors <laughs> that things are not that expensive. Now, they are sectors. Technology still came way back. Now, that's expensive again. So you got to be very selective there. And I think as we go through the economic numbers and especially the, the, the China trade was big on industrials and financials and, and those will rally along with it because they'll be able to see the future, which you really couldn't, and you don't blame the market at that point to selling off because things could have gotten a lot of worse if we didn't have any positive news coming out.